to um, invite um, Dietrich Techmeyer, who um, is from Lanxus and is representing, yes. representing the, the German leather industry. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for giving us the opportunity to give a short overview about the German uh, leather industry. And thanks very much to UNICH and the ICT for organizing this big event and of course the sponsors to, to give the funds. Um, the leather industry in Germany is associated under the um, Verband der Deutschen Leder Industry, it's called VDL. Unfortunately, our president, Mr. Thomas Strebus, is not able to make it today and he asked me to give this presentation, but he gives his, of course, his best regards. The leather industry in Germany has a great tradition. Unfortunately, in the years between 1970 and 2000, there was a huge consolidation process. Many, many tanneries had closed, had to close down. And, um, but the good thing is it stopped in the year 2000. And today we have still a solid core. Yes, a, a final group of, of, of uh, tanneries which, uh, which are working in a very high standard. In total, we count today 14 medium and large size uh, enterprises with a total of 2,000 employees. Um, this is the core of the German leather industry. We are producing roughly 2.5 million hides a year. Um, actually, that's the size of South Africa's slaughter rate. And uh, as I found out, some tanneries of Germany, they are headquartered in Germany and uh, they have um, subsidiaries all over the world, in Asia, in uh, South America, in, in Mexico or in South Africa. The product portfolio in Germany comprise always high end products, high performance uh, leather articles in the premium sector. Um, of course, number one is automotive industry and aircraft industry. This I would call uh, um, a high performance technical article. Yes, and, uh, but also we have upholstery furniture industry for private and for public uh, interiors and uh, all over the world uh, exported. In addition, the shoe upper industry uh, is focusing mainly on, uh, uh, on outdoor industry, on hiking boots uh, they are produced, as well as we have luxury goods for leading brands and they are also made in Germany. In small volumes but in high quality, we even find some production for rustic and elegant horse riding equipments. A lot of them get exported to Saudi Arabia and you, maybe you don't know, but we still have some pit tanneries, or a few pit tanneries, and they are, uh, they are producing high-end sole leather. What do we consider as the main success factors in, uh, of the German leather industry? And um, number one, of course, is uh, the world's best raw material, uh, the best height quality and skin quality and um, the well-known breeds of Central Europe deliver a hide with a very high yield and which is well structured compared to international standards and uh, which, are, which have a minimum amount of grain defects. I guess everybody knows. Since tanneries are in a close neighborhood, Germany is not very big uh, like in Brazil. I think Brazil is 15 times bigger than Germany area-wise. And uh, so the, the, uh, the tanneries are in a close neighborhood to the uh, abattoirs and houses and most of the heights are worked in fresh without any preservation. The second success factor we still uh, see is uh, our human capital as it is called. And uh, we have enough high quality, quite high, high qualified employees based still on a professional training school in Reutlingen providing skilled employees for leather manufacturer, also for tannery equipments. Some of the young tanners, after having passed the traditional tanners baptism, yeah, that's what we still do in Germany, they can decide to further improve their skills in a two-year program in Reutlingen, uh, in, in, in Freiberg at the uh, Filk Institute after successful achieving a master's qualification and passing a technical seminar there. This is in Freiberg, Saxony then they can call themselves a leather technician. 
Another big success factor, we believe, is our consequent focus on ecological as well as on property improvements of the leather quality. This is supported by our research community, Forschungsgemeinschaft Leder in German, it's FGL. This is an, uh, um, an, an organization which is yeah, organized by the leather industry and um, which is funded by the German government. In the FGL, um, there is an alignment of chemical industry as well as tanneries, but also it uh, includes all the Germans, hi Germany's highly qualified research institutes. I'm sure you know the Filk Institute in Freiburg as well as the PFE, the Permasens Footwear Institute. Another success factor, we believe, is um, um, the high product quality and, of course, a very reliable supply chain service. These are, I believe, uh, outstanding KPIs uh, where customers believe it's, it's good to buy leather in Germany. And uh, like in other countries, we heard very, very good presentations about Italy since many years already. Um, um, we also follow a consequent orientation towards a sustainability, towards sustainable green product solutions and product policies. For example, all tanneries, of course, in Germany have modern sewage treatment plants, as shown here in the picture at the three-stage biology of Heller Leder. And um, every, uh, also, as we have heard this morning in this nice presentation from Italy, nearly 100% of all height parts are used up in Germany. And uh, there, this has to be done by law. We can't put anything on a, um, on, on a landfill, on, on residues. We consider these height parts valuable raw materials and they are subject to further, further upgrading of biological processing as, for example, foodstuff, leather board, leather uh, um, fertilizers, for example, fats and pet food. Or they are used to generate uh, energy. Yeah? For example, in the worldwide first bioenergy plant of Südleder, um, as you can see in the picture on the right side, all organic waste, as well as from the sludge, the organic part, get gasified and feed it into directly linked power stations. By the way, this, I believe, give me a personal note here, this, I believe, is one of the most important jobs for the next 10, 20 years, I believe. What we see in Arzignano or in Scotland or here in Germany, that we use up nearly 100% of the height parts. This is a technology, this is a process technology which we have to roll out all over the world. This is, I believe, extremely important for the image of the leather industry. Many awards already give evidence of the successful green leather policy in Germany. Most of the tanneries are LWG gold rated of the premium tanneries and um, many selections of leather articles were already awarded by the Blue Angle, a label for upholstery and shoe upper leather which is introduced, designed and even controlled by the German government. In 2013, in 2013, the Tannery Heller Leather were even awarded by our Chancellor, Ms. Dr. Merkel, with the Sustainability Prize Blue Angle Winner of the Year. It was the first time that a Tannery was chosen for this industry award. All German premium manufacturers um, are audited with the ECOL certificate tool. If you don't know what it, what it is, please look it up in the internet. It's an, uh, by the German research organization, by the FGL. Uh, um, it's the world's first calculation and auditing model for determination of energy efficiency and the CO2 emissions of a tannery. Some tanneries have established, established own labels, of course, and these labels are linked then to special standards. And several members of the association of the German leather industry were awarded with a tannery of the year. It was in 2009, Lederfabrikhain for Tannery of Europe, and the Global Tannery of the Year Award 2011 from Heller Leder. And in 2014, uh, it was our Austrian member tannery 
uh, Wolfsdorf leather, uh, which is also part of the um, German Leather Association. There is a crucial factor of success, um, and this, I believe, is something unusual what we do in leather in, in Germany. Maybe we have to do it because we are shrunk down to a very small group. Um, it's a concentrated representation of all in interest groups of the German leather industry. And this is done by one umbrella organization, the Verband der Deutschen Leder Industrie, the VDL. This means the term leather industry in Germany uh, does no longer refer to tanneries only, but in addition applies to the entire industry sector. For example, the um, VDA uh, um, comprises also, of course, all tanneries, uh, uh, medium, small, large size tanneries, even in neighbor countries like German speaking neighbor countries like, like Austria, but also a large number of renowned enterprises of the chemical supplying industry as well as collagen upgrading industry and leather traders and manufacturer of uh, care products. We all belong together and we all get together in the VDL and discuss the industry issues. This is a unique network of experts which ensures a competent and well-coordinated solution for all kinds of brand issues as well as constructive and well-orchestered and efficient political lobbying activities. It also ensures joint commitment in the field of national and international standardizations, for example, for the establishment of the Blue Angle. We have a broad recognition for young professionals. And um, this is, uh, we also have um, um, associations like, of course, VDL is part of Cotons, International Council of Tenors. And uh, we have the counterpart which is associated with uh, um, uh, um, VDL, that is uh, uh, VGCT, which organizes the scientific part of, uh, um, of the leather world and which uh, is a branch, national branch of the IULTCS. We have further interest groups, uh, the Berufsgenossenschaft, uh, yeah, that is a BGRC, I'm, I'm, I'm finished in, in, in one minute, um, which um, advises the industry in latest regulations and uh, standards in terms of safety. We have the funding group and the TGVA. This is the uh, association of chemical suppliers. We are linked also to the VDL and um, this is a strong voice in national and uh, you, are, you are saying yes, yeah, in your European uh, uh, regulat regulatory authorities. And uh, here the chemical industry is lined up and we are fighting in the interest of the leather industry for realistic regulations and limits. By the way, TGVA is also in the advisory committee of the Zero Discharge Hazardous Chemical Campaign. So that's a very good group. And we are also now starting an initiative to raise the safety level in tanneries. So we, we believe safety is not a matter of competition. It's a license to operate. And here, the world needs the help of Europe. Okay, we are in Asia Pacific, in the fairs. The German government is supporting this stand. And in brief, as a final slide, we can say VDL stands for All Together for Leather. That's different than in other countries, and we believe it's a success for it. We hope this Congress is very good, even in the afternoon, when the less informal part is there, that we get some good uh, results and some many good findings. Thank you very much.